Well, this morning we have a safety alert about the good old fashioned way of carving a pumpkin. You know, it's a popular tradition and more people are expected to make jack-o'-lanterns this year. As a result, a lot of doctors expect to see more injuries, some even very serious. It's a scar she's had most of her life. Right there, the little X's, and luckily it wasn't as severe as it could have been. It really could have been worse. Christy Wilmot says it happened just before Halloween. I was 14 and carving a pumpkin and using a 10-inch chef's knife. My hand was wet. It slipped down the handle and right on down the blade. Ooh. Pumpkin carving can be extremely dangerous, and Dr. Vadnana Bade, a pediatrician so at Mayo Clinic, says there are five rules to follow to avoid a truly scary situation. Study. The first deals with the child's age. There was actually a study a couple of years ago in the journal Pediatrics, which actually investigated this. So the most common pumpkin carving injuries typically occur in kids most commonly between the ages of 10 and 14. And so that's why we suggest that kids over the age of 14 um, be the ones allowed to do the pumpkin carving. Next, you want to make sure that when you're cutting, beware of how your hand is placed and always carve the pumpkin in the direction away from the hand that's holding the pumpkin steady. The, the most common injuries, of course, are usually to your other hand, so the hand that's stabilizing the pumpkin. And so um, whenever you cut, you always want to cut away from that hand. And stick with the kits like these, specifically for pumpkin carving. I mean, typically, we suggest that you not use a kitchen knife, and one of the reasons is that the kitchen knife will kind of poke into um, your hand, or when it gets stuck and you're trying to pull it back out, um, it, can, it can damage any, either this hand or, or the hand that's stabilizing the pumpkin. Also, make sure your hands are dry so they don't slip when holding even the safer cutting utensil and so you don't end up with a scar like Christie's. It was dreadful and I still wince when I think about it happening, but so yeah, no, no, my children have never held a knife and tried to open it up. They, you know, get to pick up the design, but they don't get to touch any knives. So in addition to not using one of these, one of these big kitchen knives to carve, don't use one of these either because Pocket knives, not safe either. You know, once you finish all your artwork and it's all carved out, another thing you want to consider, use a glow stick instead of a candle for obvious reasons. You don't want to start a fire. For more details on these five safety steps, go to news4jacks.com and click on the morning show page. Back to you guys. Just seeing that knife, Nikki, it's like, ugh.